more lost. Here we go. Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Okay, line tight. Arrgh, sorry, that was my belt, my fault. Hey guys, Corey and Austin here from Mixing It Up Outdoors off the YouTube channel. Uh, just got out here. We are out on Lake Winnebago today. Today is, uh, what is it, Jul uh, July 31st. And uh, we just got set up. We were just putting another rod out here because um, we caught a walleye within like five minutes of being here. And we we're putting that one out. Now Austin is hooked up here. Oh, it's got another line. I'm going to grab the net. It's all right, bud. Said it's got the other line, but we're okay. Here we go. We definitely need a net cam. <laughs> Alright guys, what we got here, nice little Winnebago eater, this is about a 15er probably, and uh, been here, I don't know, I'd say about 10 minutes on our first pass, we got two in the box, but uh, all we're doing is we're uh, trolling crankbaits out here, it's a great time to get out, they're, we're, we're trolling a transition area right now, and um, is that one? Nope. we're in, uh, let's see here, about 14 feet of water, and uh, just coming around a brake line, we got our line set out pretty good, a little over 100 feet, and um, this is the result. So two in the box and stick with us, hopefully we can get some more. Very. Nice, nice, nice. This is a good one, guys. Just take that and set it in the rod with a point of This is a big one. Get that little camera. Nice. No, 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 no. Leave those with while I go, I guess. Don't let Ryan out, though. All right, guys, we got fish number three on right now. It's been a couple more minutes, or a couple minutes since the last one here. This one feels like a good one. Something I like to do when I'm trolling boards here, if you can see I'm straight off the back when I'm reeling up the actual board. But now I'm gonna bring this up here, and I know a lot of people do the opposite. But what I like to do is I like to take my board off, keep my line tight, and if you back up here, bud. And then what I do once my board's off is I'll bring my rod out to the side of the boat like you see here. What that allows me to do my opinion it allows that rod to fight the fish a little bit more to use the cushion instead of just having a straight rod hanging straight off the back I do believe we might have hooked some lines with this one I'm not sure either that or this is a really good fish 
get the net. Just set this down or? Uh, film, film the net kind of. And then uh, once he comes up, once he gets right here, just hand me the camera. Okay. And I'll try to lift them in. Can you see the fish out there? I don't know if you guys can see him or not out there, but he's coming in. Looks like a really nice walleye. Might actually be a throwbacker. Huh? Pretty good one. All right, give me that. All right, we're gonna let Austin take over the net here. Oh, we got another line hooked. Oh, no! Oh, no! All right, guys. So, <laughs> I'm just going to say this. What not to do exactly what he just did. Um, <laughs> exactly what he just did. So, what I just did there was I put the rod straight off the back of the boat. Like I preach on people not to. And uh, that was probably a 2022. <laughs> and now he's gone. So my bad, Andrew, let that be a lesson, because that's why I did that. <laughs> All right, guys, so I got to tell a quick story here on that last fish that just got off. So I have a good friend of mine, very good friend of mine, has been talking to me for about the last two, three weeks about his son, who um, is both very good walleye fishermen, and, uh, but his son's been holding the rod straight off the back of the boat. And I personally have always been a big believer in let the rod do the work. You don't need expensive walleye rods for trolling. You don't need all the fancy stuff. But you do have a rod for a reason. So let the rod do the work, right? So my big thing is I always have my rods. As soon as I take that board off, I have the rod off to the side of the boat. I can bring the fish up to the side of the boat, allow somebody to net them. So what I just did was I was more worried about getting that shot than I was the fish and like an idiot, I picked up my rod. It was straight off the back of the boat as you could maybe possibly see in the footage. I'm not sure, I haven't looked at it yet, but uh, that's what happened. Um, that rod went straight back. It took away that flex in, that, in it, you know, and it, it allowed that fish to have a nice sturdy, just boom, shook it right off. So my philosophy is this. I'm running 150 feet of line out right now. I have another 100 feet out to a board, okay? So that's 200 feet of line that I'm bringing in on with that fish, over 200 feet. How is it that you can bring in a fish 200 feet and then lose it in the last five? And that right there was a perfect example of how that happens. Put your rod straight off the back of your boat, take away that flex, and it gives them that chance to pop off. I might not be correct. I'm not saying I'm a genius on this. That's just my philosophy. My philosophy usually works until I'm a fool and do what I'm against and obviously you just seen the outcome. That was a really, really nice Winnebago walleye and uh, I kind of blew it. It would have went back anyway. That was, what would you say, Oz? Probably a 20, 21, 22, 22 he's saying. So um, it would have it went back anyway, but it would have been nice to bring it up and get some, you know, get some footage of it. but. That's how it goes, so that's my, that's my uh, don't do what I do for today. Right there.
Hey guys, got another walleye on right now. Um, should be what our third, third one in the box today. If we get this one in, yeah, just bring him right up to the net, scooting on the top of the water. Real, 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 real. It's hard to do that with the camera. Tom that flicker minnow again. Got a nice another like little 15 or here, you know. Those are eaters all day. Hey guys, one thing I wanted to touch base on real quick here is a product that um, I know not just myself but a lot of other people rely on huge when they're trolling out here on Lake Winnebago, on the system, out on Green Bay, and anywhere else that trolling is an effective tool. So what I have here is an offshore planer board. And this is probably one of the most important things when we're out here um, doing this trolling. This year I kind of tried to stay away from trolling quite a bit. Here you go. That could go out. Um, I tried to stay away from trolling a little bit, but um, this later in the year, you know, I tend to get out here and do some. But uh, this thing saves us all. Object, obviously, get the get the lines out away from the boat, um, spread them out a little bit. One of the very important keys of this is a tackle, tattle flag system, which helps you detect bites and all that good stuff. But if you don't have these, go get some. Um, even even if it's just to try, whatever. But they're. There is not a better tool out there than this right here. Um, and, and the hardware on these things is, is, I don't know how old, I think these boards are over 10 years old probably. Um, you know, my my foam's all beat up and, and discolored, and but this thing still works great, still functions great. I still even have the original springs on my tattle flags. Um, I do have new springs for these in my truck. Bruce from Offshore was kind enough to send me a new set of springs when I was in trouble. I swapped the two out that were worn out. I just haven't replaced the other ones because these, like I said, they hold up so good. But I'm hard on my stuff. I throw these in compartments. They don't break. There's no chips in their plastic. You know, everything's still there. It's still sound. So if you haven't got these yet, get out and get yourself some. Very important tool. guys feels like another decent out walleye coming in here we're about uh, I don't know probably what two minutes three minutes after Austin just reeled one in so came through a nice active school on the graph marked the fish arc in and uh, this is the result so I'm gonna have him actually set the camera down on this one and uh, get this fish in the net and then we'll pick her back up yep. Another 
nice with a bag of walleye right there, good eater. We're doubled up here, Austin's got another fish on, so I'm gonna throw this fish down. Oh, we got another one on over here, that's triple. Hey, you got a line back there. That's all right. Nope. Come up to the side and bring them to me. Big crappie. <laughs> Look at that. Big old crappie out in the middle of the lake here. guys time is winding down here it is almost 7 30 and uh, we just hooked up here we'll probably if this is a walleye we'll probably give it about another 10 15 minutes and hit the road we got a good meal in the box already and I would like to get get some sleep and come out tomorrow so Hopefully we can get this one in. The wind sure did pick up on us here. Feels like a smaller fish. How much line you got left? Nice. Your outside boy is buried. Buried. Let's get it. All right, doubled up here. guys white bass there on that one and while I was reeling that in that outside board just buried Austin's bringing it in right now well, it's bringing it nice and easy we're hoping this is the big one We got her in, and uh, definitely wasn't a big walleye. Another white bass, but I'll tell you, when they're hooked like that through that fin, the bait sideways, and you're pulling that fish back sideways, it feels like a monster. So I think we're gonna uh, call it for tonight, and at her home, charge the boat up, and then come out here bright, bright and early in the morning. 